morning. Intricate effect fans, it might not be morning for you, but it is for me. You know these episodes of mine that uh, <clears throat> my voice is a little, a little deep, and that's what's happening this morning. But I do have that magical coffee that we all love to hear me drinking. Mm-hmm. That is so nice. Nothing better than a cup of joe in the morning. All right, let's see here. We need to do some work on repairing something that we broke. And I hope I have enough of these little iron thingies. Some people call them ingots. Uh, I'm just going to call them thingies because I don't have a whole lot of them. But what I need to do is I have to repair an anvil. So we better um, do that because it was at a community place. And you saw that I had all those ender pearls. So if you put two and two together, you might realize that I broke the anvil in the end. So let's go over there and check it. Well, you know what? I need to get maybe a couple chests. I had a ton of them. I just gotta remember where they went. Right there. Let's just take a couple of those. Maybe a couple of trap chests just in case. Hmm, what else do we wanna do? You know what? I have an idea for these maybe. Okay, let's, let's go. So what we want to do is we're just going to run over to the end and repair the anvil. Now the reason why I was at the end is because I took ton, a ton of damage this week. And so I had to go over there and repair all my stuff. Yep, we were doing a little weeklies wars this week. Um, I'm not going to show you that right now. I might show you by the end of the episode, but it's it was a good time getting getting my armor all beat to snot. All right, where's that end? I think uh, we did the tunnel over here. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the actual tunnel. A uh, little work did some things through here. Uh, this is that moonstone, instone stuff, which I don't know if I can find the greatest use for it, but I think in a... In a crazy type build, it might be pretty good to use. And if we go right through this little portal hole, and I know that I've shown you guys where the portal is, but I want to show you what Agent did. Agent A uh, did the whole portal build. Somebody's happy. I wonder why. Getting them diamonds. <laughs> cool. Yeah. We got a new member. There's Josh Byers here. Ah, there it is. We got a new member. Actually, we have two new members. Um, the other member, let me see here. And I, I honestly, I'm scared to pronounce Erosigo. I'm guessing she's going to call the police on me. Um, so the second female member, which is really cool. Uh, we're, we were just joking because she was shooting arrows at me yesterday and uh, Later man, um, ooh, missed him. She was shooting arrows at me yesterday And I told her that uh, she damaged my armor to the point that she owes me two diamonds And so I told her I was if I didn't get those two diamonds, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of her hide But Actually, I was just kidding, and she's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Anyway, so uh, so there's two new members. I'm going to refer to Josh and Aaron. It's probably the best thing for me to do. And uh, I will have their channel. Uh, ooh, it's getting loud in here. I will have their channel uh, on on the link, to the link of a video here. Why am I falling asleep? That ain't it. What music and sounds? What do you think? It's hostile creatures? Yeah. A little hostile creature action there. Okay, so get the, get the sound down. Let's get that anvil back in here. Why we're here, is there anything I wanted to wanted to do? So you kind of seen how it was like to get here. A little mine cart. This is uh, quite, a, quite a travel just because we wanted to get away from the big old moonstone over there. Um, to be able to, to make sure our spawning rates on the uh, Endermen are nice and high so that that chuck is unloaded while you're over here. And I'm not saying we. It, it was Agent A's uh, plan on, on all this. So 
Yeah, and he also said if you exit the mine cart, like right here, it'll just put you outside. And outside is not good because you fall out of the world. You fall into nothingness. So don't be doing that if you're in here. Uh, this is pretty neat. I don't know if I'm willing to try it yet. Well, let's just do it. Let's just see how this works. Okay, so if we take this bow... And it's probably infinity with flame, so we only need one arrow, and we already got that. I think I can just shoot straight up there, and it'll drop down. All right, so right now we've got plenty of these guys in here. So let's just go ahead and shoot this right here, but I'm going to stand away a little bit after I do it. Okay, so that's going to fall down into that water, and you'll hear the ender guys die. Okay, so that didn't blow up anything, I hope. And you can just come, see how many died. They all just died. They're all gone. That is awesome. Now, it costs TNT, but I think it's kind of fun. And I didn't even need to come up here to get the XP. It will go through the water hole there. So basically what it was is, oh, we, the flaming arrow has, cannot be in there or else we're in trouble. So I shouldn't have shot it in there. Um, I don't know how to get, would I hurt anything if I drop a water bucket in there? I don't, I don't know if it would do anything. I don't know if, I don't know. Okay, good. Now at least it's not a flaming arrow anymore. Okay. But if you had a flaming arrow in there, it, it could cause a little bit of damage. Uh, so we gotta be careful. But yeah, once you shoot it up in there, it drops into that water, which protects the blast from coming down here. And the blast radius, I believe, is like 11 blocks, you know, all the way around here. So anything within 11 blocks will pretty much die. And that's why they all get killed. I got 24 levels. And then let's see if we got anything else we need to repair. Like, let's go ahead and just do this pick. Not that it needs it. Uh, I like my silk touch shovel, too. Yeah, 21 levels. Let's just go ahead and repair that since we're here. You know, before I used to be kind of thrifty with my levels, um, end of my time. So base, oh, what did I get that from? A flinty, oh, that's the, uh, aha. I don't want to steal it. So I want to put it in the chest right now. Um, I used to be thrifty with my time and my levels because, you know, you'd sit there and you're like, I'm going to go ahead and let my my tools wear down to the point where I'll use two levels because it'll cost me 26 points instead of doing 21 points twice, uh, experience points. But now that we got this, while I'm here, it, it takes longer to get here than it does to grab up experience, as you can tell. So I'm, when I come out here, I just like to try to repair anything that will take a full diamond on my durability and uh, without going over, because I don't want to waste diamonds. So that should get me fairly close. I think my shovel was the other thing I wanted to repair. I'm not even sure. I don't think I've repaired it before. I like it because it's a silk touch. Um, when you're doing gravel, you don't get flint um, and that kind of thing, which is just irritating to clog your inventory with flint. If you had a, a fortune on your shovel, it'll, it'll do that. All right, let's do the shovel and see how much that costs. Yeah, 32, and as you see, that the durability at the bottom, it goes from, from 784 to 1174. So, you know, in my life, that's about 400. If I did 400 more, it would put it over 1561. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this as the repair, but I need to get to 32 to do it. Now, really, I don't lose a whole lot of diamond if I went ahead and just repaired it right now. Um, it's only like 10 durability I would lose, so 10 dirt blocks, I think. Um, but, I don't know. I'll just, I'll be back, so I'm not going to worry about it. And really, my shovel doesn't go too fast, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, let's put, um, while we're here, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more ender pearls, if there is some, and take them home. Uh, okay, I think I got them all. You guys just saw me replace this anvil in here. Well, I went to go use it again, and it broke. One time use anvil, I'm not sure what happened. So there it is. I replaced two anvils in the end, 
And um, hopefully, hopefully we don't glitch out and break it. I lost obviously all the iron that went with it. I'm kind of depressed. And then I have another anvil because after I broke this one, I tried to go to the quick, quick ready go system. And let's just go to the spawn anvil and I broke it too. So it must be just total bad luck. So what I decided I'm gonna do, I need to go caving. I had to take six blocks off of my beacon, which isn't full anyway. So it's not like it hurt it because I took off blocks to put a beacon in the end. So what I need to do is quit. I need to quit caving and mining for the other guys and start doing a little bit for myself. Be, you know, become a little more selfish for a second here. And to do that, I think I'm just going to take off all weekend from work. And I'm just, all I'm going to do is mine. I'm just going to just mine all weekend long. I'm going to have so much stuff that, uh, you know, I'm going to be rich. I want to be rich. And I will be, you watch. But, uh, so let's go replace this. Now, here's another interesting thing, and maybe you guys can kind of show, show me what's going on. So we drop through here. One day, I, I think I'm gonna play all this and then maybe do a time lapse. Minecraft. But look what happens. Okay, so it puts us in this little hole. So we have to knock out this block. It's pretty cool. I don't have a stinking ender pearl on me right now. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just do this because I do have ender pearls. Don't be lying to me. Okay. There we go. There's resourcefulness, huh? Looking good. Oh crap! Oh good. Okay. Woo! These ender pearls are dangerous, man. They're dangerous, I tell you. And then we have to do this. Now I'm not sure why the bed is right here. I wonder if it has anything to do with having the uh, music player here and then the chest there. Maybe we can move the bed a little bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it, I suggested that we fill in the space behind that wall right there so there wouldn't be a spot to land. Agent A said he, he the first time he got put in there, it was all dirt and it. He suffocated or almost suffocated to death. So I don't know, maybe you guys know why it's throwing it's clear over there just uh let me know there we go so now the anvil's back and this was designed to have a multi-anvil system in it so maybe after i go down caving we'll be able to uh donate a few more you know oh wait i'm done i'm done donating i'm selfish from now on that's what i just decided okay so here we are we're at the weekly wars building do, 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 do. And I think somehow we're, we're, we're going to come up with a way. And I have an idea, but we need to come up with a way. So everybody can decide if they want to play in weekly wars for the upcoming week. So that's why we grabbed a couple chests. And I think, I'm, ooh, I don't have any wood. Yeah, I do. Okay. I think it's just going to be quite simple. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a chest here and a chest here. Okay. And in this chest, we're going to put everybody's name with their skin. It's kind of morbid. It's kind of disgusting that your name is on a cowhide. One Fred Jones. But this is going to represent if you're playing in Weekly Wars or if you're taking time out. Um, so I'm going to put all these guys in the Weekly Wars. Okay, so we got nine members now. Freddy, Mom, A, Sig, Mr. V, and then Josh Spires. He's our new our new member. Gwen Stacy, and then Aaron, and then Temple Change. So those guys, guess what? You're in Weekly Wars starting on Sunday. So if you don't want to be in Weekly Wars starting on Sunday, you better come over here to uh, this chest and and we're gonna put a sign on there so let's craft up a sign um doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah i, I kind of make ooh, can't do that yet i kind of make fun of people you know hey you're you're being a sissy you don't want to play 
that's just, I'm just messing around. You know, people have valid reasons not wanting to play, and I totally understand that. Um, you don't have to play. But I guess uh, because I played sports, you know, uh, a lot, uh, used to talking a little smack, a little game, you know, talking a little game. It's cool. All right, so this chest is going to be the chest that says, I want to kill everybody. So if you want to kill everybody, we're going to put it in there, okay? And then over here, I want to suck my thumb. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's do something else. I want to um, take a, oop, not enough room for a, a break from death. How's that? Because maybe somebody's dying, they're just like, ah, I had enough. So, there you go. If you want to kill everybody, keep your hide in here. And if you're tired of people taking your hide, then just go ahead and put your hide over here. So there we go. <clears throat> now with nine members, we may have to redesign uh, how big this is, and it won't be too difficult. I, can, I think I can pull that off. Um, we may lose the player of your choice match, but what it may also do if a couple people sit out, which that could be if you got a big project that week and you'd really like to just record and concentrate or what you got going on, you know, just go ahead and pull your hide out, put it over in that chest. Um, and then what we're going to do is hopefully we get to seven. If not, we'll do six. Um, of course, if we get less than, than six, let's say five, then we'll take out um, you know, one of these three matches and do a player choice. So there's a chance that we'll still get some different options going. Um, the one thing I did decide to do is if two players end up in the same match, um, for instance, one Fred and I, we've already played the bow match. This week we're in the sword match. So if we get matched up again in the bow match or the sword match, I think... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a rule in that says, hey, you know what? If that happens, I may do some man manual pairings to be sure that others get to play other people and not have to do the exact same content um, within a given time frame. So we'll work on that. So this is this keeps evolving. It'll continue to evolve. I'm sorry about that, guys. I have a little buzzing in the background, and I had to cut away until it stopped. Um, I didn't want it to continue to get louder, which it did. So we're going to come over here. I wanted to create more of a um, user-friendly part of the Weekly Wars. Um, some players are having a little bit of struggles being able to produce magnificent content looking over their shoulder. And, you know, as I said in the last episode, I can totally understand why that may be. So looking at this area here, we're going to create a PvP palace. There's going to be indoor and outdoor sections of this PvP palace, but the whole map can be used to match up players to play at a given time, and obviously it's going to be set with, uh, with a given restricted terrain use. So as we walk around here, I want to cut the water in where it's going to come this way, and I want the water to surround this whole place, and it'll create a little island and then inside the island we want to put the palace um, we can match up players to play each other and then the water can come through there we can match up players to play each other we can do a tournament style um, where the winner continues to advance maybe do a double elimination possibly or a consolation round within a tournament we can also take all the members that want to join in a weekend event on the server and do just a survival style PVP challenge here. Um, basically everybody against everybody. Also I'm thinking we could do more of a survival where you cannot bring your own gear and we'll have chests throughout the map. And within there, 
you would have to go get those chests to be able to gear yourself up with weapons, with armor, um, food to continue to battle safely. Now those chests will probably be a set amount of contents all the time. So players that know the map can strategically plan their route through the palace uh, while dodging other players if we choose to do that style. So there's plenty of different options. The first thing we want to do though is we need to create the environment to be able to set up those different options. Oh no. Um, but the options won't happen until we get this whole terrain done. I think I lost my train of thought, didn't I? <laughs> so here we are. This is where it's going to be. Outlying areas are going to be outdoor terrain. And then, of course, on the inside, we're going to do a palace multi-level. And it's just going to create lots of battles and, of course, be able to schedule it. So if people do not want to play in the weekly wars with the element of surprise, um, and but they still want to PvP from time to time, we can do that. Or if there's an argument on the server, somebody disagrees, somebody feels like the other player should have done this or that, hey, we can always... Just put on some boxing gloves and let them fight it out. And that's what this can be for. So I need to get to working on this. I'm going to take all weekend, knock this thing out. Not knock it out. I'm just kidding. But we'll get a bunch of it done. I plan on chopping down all the trees, um, getting a terrain figured out, and then the area to actually build the palace on. If you guys are on the server that want to play, what is going on? That's just crazy. Um, <clears throat> anybody that wants to participate in possibly doing sections of this build, I think that would be pretty cool um, to have a little bit different views and structures and thoughts. I even think that within the palace, um, she is indirectly attacking your builds. Well, that's nice. Don't blow up my place. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, so guys, jump in if you want to jump in. Take in all input because this again is a community project where we're all going to benefit free of charge. You might give your life and that's it. Next, I'd like to show you the match. We had two battles between one Fred and I and I'd like to show you the outcomes of those. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please click a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Later! It's time to go find Fred for our first match of the Weekly Wars. Sword match. All we can do is use swords. There's no restrictions on potions as long as we don't harm the other player with them. So first things first, I need to find him. And then... Oh crap, there he is. Thank <laughs> you.